Welcome to DIYEasyCrafts.com, how to make a nautical computer desk out of an old teacher's school desk. So for this project, I wanted this computer stand or this computer desk uh, to look a little nautical. Um, so I, wanted, uh, I designed it uh, to use pilings as the legs. Um, I made the tabletop look like planks, almost like a dock or a deck plank. Um, and then I added some rope trim to it. The project started with an old teacher's school desk, and we're really only going to use the top off of that desk. Um, both sets of drawers we'll use on a separate project. Uh, in addition to that top, I also went to a local Home Depot and I bought four uh, fence posts. Uh, these are the round um, pressure treated fence posts. They actually have one little flat side on them. Um, I basically cut four of these to the height that I wanted the desk to be. In, in this case, it's 40 inches. The tabletop or the desktop is going to sit on all four of those uprights as legs. In addition to that, I cut two additional poles um, for each of the front legs uh, to give this the look of pilings. And when you group multiple pilings together um, on the water, they're called dolphins. So basically, it'll be a dolphin on each front leg assembly, one um, leg on each back, and then we're going to use some 1x3s um, as cross uh, frame structure in order to make everything rigid. Um, I'm also going to run a, a one by three on each side to kind of frame that desktop. So anyway, I measured um, the height that I wanted these one by threes to be, and I'm just going to use a router uh, to router out the depth of that one by three so that the one by three will actually be uh, embedded into this upright. You'll see in a minute. Now you can change the height of this uh, nautical top. Um, you can change the height of the pilings and you can have them all the same height or you can have alternating heights like I've done. This is the cutout that I did and all I did was measure you know basically where the top's going to be and I gave it a little I cut it a little bit wide so I had a little bit of wiggle room here but I wanted that one by three on the sides to be flush with the top of the tabletop. Now for the one by uh, for the one by three cross uh, cross piece on the bottom uh, really just has to be the same from from one leg to the other you know you measure up a foot from the bottom um, and you measure the, the basically the size of the one by three and you cut an opening at least that size you could go a little bit longer uh, and it wouldn't really matter for the back uprights um, whereas that one by three is actually just going to go right through from one side to the other I just used a jigsaw uh, to cut out a notch and again, this is the same height from the bottom. I used one foot, but you could have that, uh, you know, that, that cross piece basically almost at any height you want. Now you'll notice that the, the back legs on my um, computer table are not going to be flush with the back corner of the table. And that's because I've, in the room that I'm going to use this in, I've got baseboard heat. Uh, so I wanted those back uh, legs to be set in a little bit. So now I've got these notches cut um, on the two back legs down low for the cross member um, and then also on um, the uprights in the front. So now I can, I can basically start to assemble. Before I assemble, I am going to just sand off um, the edges or the corners of uh, each one of those pilings. You know, I don't want any splinters on the finished product. Um, you can round these over as much as you want. But I just made them kind of rough. I used an 80 grit paper and I just sanded off all of the rough edges. Uh, in addition to the sanding, I really wanted to add some, uh, like a distressed look to these pilings. So I just used a little torch and I burnt uh, areas. I just add some dark areas, you know, light areas, dark areas, just a, a very quick means of adding a little character um, and a little age onto each one of those uh, fence post uprights. It looks like they've been weathered. Now to assemble the pilings or the poles or the uprights, whatever you want to call them together, I just used a four inch, a couple four inch screws. It just runs right through. The, the, the first two I had um, the uprights the flat side to the flat side and the third I just kind of offset a little bit visually where I wanted it screwed it in. 
making sure that that uh, one by three cross member will still fit and then I can add another screw down lower. You don't need a lot of, of hardware or a lot of screws holding these together. Uh, all of the weight is going to be down on uh, the top of the, of the one upright that's cut at the height, at the correct height. So now I'm assembling uh, the set of dolphins on the other corner of the other front corner of the desk. And I'm doing the exact same thing. You know, made sure that that uh, one by three uh, framing would fit in the uh, routed notch, and then I'm basically just screwing uh, those pilings together. Now I'm going to move to the to the top itself. Now I did cut down um, the depth of this top uh, down to 24 inches. I didn't need a huge uh, desk. Um, and I gave it a good coat of a dark brown. It's actually a water-based uh, paint um, that I got. At, actually, got it at Home Depot. Um, went on very easily. I used a dark brown as the base coat. And what I was trying to do here is I'm going to tape after this dries, of course. I'm going to use some painter's tape, um, and I'm going to measure out six-inch planks, and I'm going to tape the line in between each plank. And then I'm going to add kind of a, um, a wood grain with a lighter. So this is the paint. It's, it's a Rust-Oleum Ultra Coat um, water soluble paint. Uh, it's made for furniture, so it's pretty hard. With the lighter tan, I'm just using a very tiny amount on the brush and I'm just light, light strokes back and forth. Um, you can go back over the same area multiple times. Uh, if you put too much of the light paint on, you can always go back with some darker uh, after it dries. It's, it's very forgiving that way. The only thing that you want to do is you want to make sure you have some, some of the lighter colored paint right up along the edge of that tape line. This way, when you remove the tape, you've got a nice solid line. And again, you'll, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about in a minute. So I'm going to paint each one of these sections. I have to let the paint dry in between and then move that uh, tape line leaving probably a quarter to a half inch in between and then and then paint the alternating sections in the same manner so it takes you know it takes a little bit of time just to let the paint dry in between but this there's, there's nothing difficult here all right so this paint is now dried um, and I'm going to remove the painter's tape, and that's exposing, you know, about a you know, quarter to a half inch gap in between, and that's just exposing the original dark color that I originally painted that tabletop in. And you can see up top, I've got another uh, one of the grooves or the gaps in between the planks, and I still have to finish painting that one particular plank. I just have to put the tape, reposition the tape, um, and then I can finish painting that plank. Um, I decided afterwards to cut a couple of notches in the back of this uh, desk to allow the computer cables to run through. Probably should have done that earlier. I just touched it up with some dark paint. Now this is the frame. I finished off the frame um, so that the tabletop could be dropped into place. I used a, uh, a two by three across the back, um, one by threes, you know, running lateral, uh, and then also I added some cross members up and down along the sides and also some 45s uh, running from the back legs uh, to that two by three upright. Just enough wood to make it rigid. Now I'm gonna uh, drop the tabletop into place I'm not going to secure that tabletop to the frame because I want to be able to carry this into the house in two sections. I want to be able to carry the leg assembly um, and then uh, the top assembly and then I'll, I'll attach them uh, once they're together in place. Uh, before I do that, I am going to give a good coat of lacquer uh, to the top of that computer desk. Uh, lacquer is a little bit harder uh, than the water soluble paint that I used and I really want this to stand up you know, to use. It's going to um, be a work table, uh, the computer mouse is going to be on it, uh, I'm going to be leaning on it all the time. And so I wanted a, a couple nice heavy coats of lacquer. Uh, I use the spray lacquer, it just you know, dries very quickly. And I was very happy with the end result. You can see, uh, or you can use your imagination to see wood grain on each one of those simulated planks. Uh, the uprights are, are really beginning to look kind of nautical, uh, give that nautical feel of, uh, of pilings on a dock. 
And then I'm gonna finish this off with some with some rope trim. Now this is just wood, a rope uh, trim that I got at Home Depot, uh, molding basically. I coated it with that same lighter um, color that I used on the, on the top. But in addition to that, after it dried, I just gave it some light stroke marks in white. Uh, just to add a little bit of, uh, you know, of character to it. I'm going to tack this on with some finishing nails. Now, on both sides, I'm not going to drive those nails all the way through because they would go through to the desktop um, and, and hold it all together. And like I said before, I want to be able to move uh, the leg assembly separately from the top. You can see the length of the nails, of uh, the finishing nails here would go into that top. So I'm just going to leave the heads sticking out a little bit. I'll finish those, I'll drive those in uh, once the desk is in position. Uh, the molding on the front, however, is, is being mounted directly to that, um, that desktop. So those nails I can drive uh, completely flush. You know, when I finally finished this, um, my wife's comment was I, I have to carve a wooden seagull and have it sitting on one of the pilings. Um, and I've, I've actually been thinking about it. I may do that. It'll, it'll be a separate project. I'll see how, how difficult that is to pull off. Um, but anyway, here, here's the desk. It's all finished. So you've got uh, sets of three pilings called dolphins on each of the front corners of the desk. Uh, the desk itself has um, you know, three or four six-inch planks, uh, simulated planks with wood grain and rope trim all around. This is the finished desk in position. You, you can see the, the baseboard heat. That's why the, the back legs were set in a little bit. And I was very happy with the way it came out. It was actually a very easy project. Only took a few hours to do. Um, you don't have to be a real carpenter. Um, a lot of this, these cuts were very rough. Um, but the finished product still comes out really nice. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please check us out on the web at DIYEasyCrafts.com. If you like the video, I ask that you please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel.